Fat Joe recaps his friends concert at the Apollo Theater. Y'all under it. So a night like yesterday at the Apollo, the most legendary, by the way, the Philly boys, maybe it was because y'all didn't know I was bringing the Philly boys, but the Philly boys and Memphis Bleak, the rock was in the building. So legendary. So legendary. Little Kim bodied. Little Kim bodied, 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 bodied. You know how crazy it is? It's like, you know what I was scared for, even though this guy's my idol. This guy's like the greatest. But The Rock bodied that stage. I mean, pandemonium. It, it's, it's unbelievable. I'm getting goosebumps right now explaining it. Yo, man. I was looking at the side. I knew I had Key Sweat. My brother flew up from Atlanta. It's an honor that, you know, D-Boys, when we was in the street in 88, we played Key Sweat. We wasn't playing nothing else. He is the original uh, D-Boy, you know, 88, wide body, Beamer. You seen the cars in front of the Apollo? Shout out to Guy 5001. They had the, the fucking wide body Beamer. Man, they pulled it out of his garage in 20 years. They brought it from in a flatbed from Ohio. All the old school cars was out there. The Benzes, the Benz wagons. Yo, the shit was re ridiculous. Ridiculous out there. You walk inside the Apollo, you see Willie Burgers in the back. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Carmelo Anthony on the right. Mary J. Blige up there acting up. Hun Lorena and Angie Martinez and Chrissy and they was dumbing out up there. You had Ilfinator. If you watch Golf of Harlem, the wife, she was in the ground. She's the queen of Harlem on TV. Then we had the queen of Harlem from the streets was in the crowd with Don Florio. Then we had a girl that they call the real queen of Harlem, which is Chrissy, Jim Jones' wife. The nostalgia was in the building. <laughs> See how smooth came out. Hit him with that. I reminisce, I reminisce. MOP, body every time. Mr. Cheeks got it party. Yo, you know Kenny Burke. He's saying that. Keep eyes into the top. But once again, the Philly boys was bodying the whole shit. So I'm looking to the side. Under normal circumstance, a R&B singer, <laughs> he's in trouble after the Philly boys. Man, that boy Keith Sweat came out and said, Girl, I've been thinking about you all day long. Bro, shit was a body up in there. Nobody, baby. Um. Now I got ridiculous in the middle of my set. Of course, my sister, the queen of Shanti, came through. But in the middle of my set, because Nori missed this flight. So we all got to go boo, Nori. Thumbs down, Nori. Boo. Um, but I had this special surprise for Nori set, but Nori ain't come. So Remy go dead in the middle, little, 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 and then we throwing that band from TV, and nature comes out. I get off my father's features, Puff Heavenly. Yo, ridiculous. The Godfather, the Dawn, one of my idols. Day one, Melly Mouse, like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Ha, 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 ha. Yo, the shit, legendary. Oh, no, no, nature caught a body, a body, a body. I knew it, though. He said, this is the second favor you asked for me. <laughs> I'm going to need you to return that favor soon. I said, that's not a problem, my brother. <laughs> I said, nature, I got you. Whatever the favor is, I sent out the, count, the kite today. And, uh... And so everybody was in the building, of course, Dipset. 
Jimmy Jewels, Jimmy came out. The drip was legendary. He had like a car heart, but Gucci. In fact, I gotta buy that suit. I gotta buy that suit. This shit was legendary. Know what I'm saying? And the locks, you know, they closed the show. Now, people were hitting me, but it was over already. You know what I'm saying? We had real, real game changers talking about, I'm pulling up to the Apollo 2. And I was like, you know, it's over. But DJ Ted Smooth, man, wow. And so a bunch of, as you could think, Fat Joe don't never lie. If he tell you he gonna do something legendary, he gonna do it legendary. And so I think the streets know that. That's why that was all sold out. Well, Wu-Tang was supposed to come. Ray is on vacation with his family. But Met the Man and Ghost, they, they kind of said they were coming. But um, they didn't get to do it. I think Met the Man was shooting the TV show or whatever. But, uh, Maybe next time, Fat Joe Fest or festival or some shit. Or Madison Square Garden. I don't know, man. You know, for me, it was so special because it's Harlem. You know, I'm an 88er. You know what I'm saying? And so Harlem, I don't know if y'all know, 132nd Park Avenue. Taino Towers, all that area. You know, that's, that's, that's how you, you know. I used to be in the area, and so it means so much to me. I got my start there, amateur night at the Apollo. You know, I do, I do Yankee Stadium in Madison Square Garden, and nothing. I, I couldn't sleep for a week, um, because it matters so much to me. Shout out to Miss Loyalty who came, and so, um, we had such a great time, though. We had a great time, and of course the locks. Shut it down. They did the everybody put your right fist in the air. Then they go, We gon' make it. We gon' make it. We gon' I mean, who else was there? That, did I forget somebody? Huh? Peter. Oh my god. Peter. If it wasn't for the Bronx, this rap shit. Now nah, it was a legendary night. Shout out to Eric B. Always in the building. See how smooth rock. I mean, you know, uh, Eric B was in it. Just everybody, hip hop, DJ Chubby Chubb. And you know, I told Havoc destroyed that. Havoc, Core Mega. Then they went into coming in the game on some modeling shit. Like, you know, I look, all my friends did me a favor. They did a couple of songs. You know, Little Kim is such a soldier that she ready to uh, shout out CJ. Nems was in the building. My brother Pat Poos was in the building. Uh, the young boys, the Cole Baines was in the building. Uh, it was it was just just uh beautiful night. The rain was horrible, it was freezing, but the gods still showed up. And so havoc, man. They came out survival with the fittest, then they did shook ones, then they did quiet storm. And then Kim came on and she went, huh, huh, you got it going on, huh, huh. Nah, we danced on there, man. And so, Fat Joe tell you next time, it's on and popping, just know it's on and popping. Shout out my man Ruben Diaz was in the building, the whole KR, you know what that thing was. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Rest in peace, Pun. Rest in peace, ODB. Rest in peace, uh, Heavy D. Rest in peace, Easy E. Rest in peace, Tupac Shakur. Rest in peace, Biggie. Big L. Nah, shit crazy. Freaky Todd. I mean, we all lost giants in the crew. DMX. We lost Giants in the crew. You know? Shout out to my brother Buster Rhymes. He had a show in Miami. Shout out to DJ Kelly. He shot a whole commercial. Um, 
And so if we ever get to do it again, it's going to be even crazier. But it was amazing. Shout out to Nipsey. Rest in peace. Five years. CEO Fit for Quinn. Yeah, you know I had you, Melody. You know I had you. You was inside. Now that shit was legendary. 20 years lean back, guys. Shout out my sister Remy, man. She's such a boss. She likes to call the shots. Yeah, Karis one next time. You're left, hey! Torre, what's up? That band from TV was... I, you know, I threw that in my slot. I said, yo, I said, nature. Nori ain't make it. I said, so what do you want? You want to go on with Queensbridge? We're Havoc and this and this and that. And so we had a list. And the man pointed and said, Fat Joe and Shante Ray said, I like it there. Pause. And man, that man came out, did his thing on another level. And yo, let me tell you something, man. Loyalty over everything. God is the greatest, but remember, loyalty, happy autism awareness month. I was in discussion with Nas. I was in discussion. We was on the text. I really thought my brother was pulling up. If you ask me the wild card, who did you think was pulling up, Joe? I'm crazy like that. I thought Nas was pulling up. I know Drake got a concert in New York right now. I didn't call him. But I'm optimistic like that. I thought he might pull up. It is, I mean, what do you want me to do? I'm crazy like that. Billy Blanco, I love you, brother. <laughs> what do you want me to do? And so, uh, it was crazy. Yo, you guys, some of you guys got bright ideas, huh? Uh, everybody got the same. You know the trophy, the NBA trophy. Now, let me tell you a little Scandalo TV. A little, what I didn't understand. Apollo wouldn't let me put the NBA trophy up. Larry, the joint that you see Kobe crying with it, exhausted. Michael, I don't know why they would not let me put the trophy on stage. I don't know if it was a hazard. What it was, but shout out Jeff Sanchez. The NBA showed up with the fucking trophy. I don't think you take that on tour. Fasu's on here. Salam alaikum, my brother. Ramadan Karim. Nah, you know, <laughs> Mayor got the picture with the trophy. You know that. You knew that was gonna happen the minute you saw that be that. Nah, but it was crazy. Yo, I couldn't believe it. I'm looking for the trophy showed up. Yeah, but it was crazy. I'm not driving. Rich Blade the God is. Domingo, what's up? But listen, man. Loyalty over everything. Sit back and relax. Watch the show. Unfortunately, everybody's troubles are being played out in public. But sit back. Watch the show. And just know how people would do you, man. That's it. It's sad, man. It's hard to trust people. It's hard to love people. It's sad for me to say that when yesterday I threw my 20th anniversary and leaned back. And the whole world came to show love. But... When you watch things unfold, just know they'll do that to you too. They'll do that to you too. So just watch what you do. And just, you know, my favorite, uh, E. Philly, you know, my favorite soap opera or my favorite thing was Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar in real life, he had a little book that he would leave right here. And then somebody told him, yo, you know Juan Chito did this and this and that? He said, Juan Chito, for real? Yeah. He'll pull that book out. Right, Juan Chito. 20 episodes later, they gave it to Juan Chito. So, just know, when people telling jokes about people, 
real life. People might be going through stress and you laughing in them comments and you with that. I'm talking about people I know from this industry. Guys like me, we take notes, write it down like Pablo. We write it down. We write it down. And you know, it's really disgusting to be honest with you. Now, bozos that come in here and say whatever, you know, these people miserable at life. They're miserable at life. Turn around, the years of getting up there. They realize they ain't got shit going on. They realize they ain't never gonna have shit going on. So they're miserable. So it's their job to disrespect whoever made something of themselves on social media. And so, That's how it go, man. But I was honored. Thank the Apollo for letting me come back. I started there amateur night at the Apollo. Came out there, put on a hell of a show. It wasn't about the money, it was about the people. Trying to restore the feeling. Trying to make people happy. Trying to make people feel like they were in a dream. And that was basically um, what I was trying to do. So uh, we was trying to have plain old fun. I got to thank God. Give all the glory. God is the greatest. But like I said, guys out here, man. It's bad out here, man. It's bad out here. And I can't believe some of the things I'm seeing with my own eyes. You know, Fat Joe see you do another person. Up. He ain't f***ing with you like that. I y'all love y'all peace Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV